In this video, we're going to fit architrave to a double door frame. Firstly, you're going to need to make some markings around your door frame. We're going to set our combination square to 10mm. This is because if we fit our architrave flush to the door frame, there would be no room for your door hinges to be fitted. Make your markings at the corner on either side of the door, and then some more markings throughout the rest of the frame, just so that you have consistent markings throughout your frame. Once you've done this, you can start cutting your material. We're going to cut our header piece first. If you need more information on how to use a chop saw, a video should pop up on your screen now, and there'll be a link in the description. Firstly, we're going to cut our material down to just under two meters, and then mitre down one of the ends. This is because we want to have a piece of architrave that is slightly oversized, so that we have a manageable piece that we can accurately mark our other mitre cut against our door markings. Once we've got our second mitre marking, we can go back to the chop saw and make our cut. Our header piece is now cut, and it's now time for us to cut down the side pieces of architrave, which are also known as uprights. We're going to cut the uprights of our architrave down to just over two meters. This is because the standard height of door frames is typically 1,981 mil, and we want to have a piece of architrave that is slightly oversized so that we can mark it up against our door frame markings without hitting or damaging the ceiling. When you're offering up the architrave, make sure it's completely flat on the floor so you can get the most accurate marking. If you have any bumps or raised parts on your wall, you can try and scrape it flat so that your architrave will sit as flat as possible to your wall. Once we've got our markings, we can mitre our architrave. To mitre the right upright, set your saw 45 degrees to the right, making sure the profile side of the architrave is closer to you. And to mitre the left upright, set your saw 45 degrees to the left, again with the profile side of the architrave closer to you. Once you've cut them, double check them up against your pencil markings on your frame, just to make sure that they fit. Now that all the architrave pieces are cut, it's time to fit them all to the wall. We're going to fit our header piece first, apply adhesive to the back of the header, place it on your wall in line with your markings, and fix it to the wall with a nail gun. We'd recommend nailing either end of the piece to keep it in place first, and then add a couple more pins centrally. When the header piece is fixed to the wall, we can check the mitre joints on our upright pieces before we fit them. Again, apply adhesive to the back of the architrave. This time though, we're going to apply glue to the joint and then spray activator on the header joint so that the joints can bond together nicely. When fitting the upright, make sure the bottom of the architrave is flat against the floor and work your way up. Make sure that you're flush with your pencil markings. Once you get to your mitre joint, hold them in place, check the instructions on the glue and activator you choose for the time. When the time is done, start working your way down and pinning the architrave to the wall with a nail gun. Once it's fixed to your wall securely, use the exact same method for the opposite upright. And just like that, your architrave has been fixed to the wall. You'll probably want to do some cosmetic work to your architrave, such as corking around the edges, filling and sanding your pinholes and mitres, and painting to whatever colour you like. We hope that this tutorial has covered off everything. If you do have any questions, please leave us a comment and we'll get back to you. For more home tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.